did you ever see something so beautiful that you wanted to hold on to it forever? Well, a boy named Little Gopher did. And at first, he didn't know how. But he listened very carefully to the earth. And finally, she showed him the way. In this story, the legend of the Indian paintbrush. The legend of the Indian paintbrush. Retold and illustrated by Tommy De Paula. Read by Harold Littlebird. Many years ago, when the people traveled the plains and lived in a circle of teepees, there was a boy who was smaller than the rest of the children in the tribe. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't keep up with the other boys who were always riding and shooting their bows to prove their strength. But the boy, who was called Little Gopher, was not without a gift of his own. From an early age, he loved to decorate stones with the juices from berries. The wise shaman of the tribe understood that Little Gopher had a gift that was special. Do not struggle, Little Gopher. Your path will not be the same as the others. They will grow up to be warriors. Your place among the people will be remembered for a different reason. In a few years, Little Gopher went out to the hills alone to think about becoming a man, for this was the custom of the tribe. And it was there that a dream vision came to him. The sky filled with clouds, and out of them came a young Indian maiden and an old grandfather. She carried a rolled up animal skin, and he carried pots of paint and a brush made of fine animal hairs. The grandfather spoke. My son, these are the tools by which you shall become great among your people. You will paint pictures of the deeds of the warriors and the visions of the shaman, and the people shall see them and remember them forever. The maiden unrolled a pure white buckskin and placed it on the ground. Find a buckskin as white as this, she told him. Keep it, and one day you will paint a picture that is as pure as the colors in the evening sky. And as she finished speaking, the clouds cleared, and a sunset of great beauty filled the sky. Little Gopher looked at the white buckskin, and on it he saw colors as bright and beautiful as those made by the setting sun. Then the sun sank behind the hills, and the dream vision was over. The next day, Little Gopher began to make brushes from the hairs of different animals. He gathered berries and flowers and rocks of different colors and crushed them to make his paints. And he began to paint pictures of great hunts of great deeds, of great dream visions, so that the people would always remember. Many months before, he had found his pure white buckskin, but it remained empty because he could not find the colors of the sunset. He used the brightest flowers, the reddest berries, and the deepest purples from the rocks and still his paintings never satisfied him. He began to go to the top of a hill each evening and look at the colors that filled the sky to try and understand how to make them. One night, he heard a voice calling to him. Because you have been faithful to the people and true to your gift, you shall find the colors you are seeking. The next evening, Little Gopher went to the top of the hill as the colors of the sunset spread across the sky. And there, on the ground all around him, were brushes filled with paint, each one a color of the sunset. 
Little Gopher began to paint quickly and surely, using one brush, then another. And as the colors in the sky began to fade, Little Gopher gazed at the white buckskin, and he was happy. He had found the colors of the sunset. He carried his painting down to the circle of the people, leaving the brushes on the hillside. And the next day, when the people awoke, the hill was ablaze with color, for the brushes had taken root in the earth and multiplied into plants of brilliant reds, oranges, and yellows. And every spring from that time, the hills and meadows burst into bloom. And the people no longer called him Little Gopher, but he who brought the sunset to the earth.